So game strategy uh, is also a simple problem. This is a problem about playing a game, two players playing a game, taking turns. Uh, let's go to the next slide, please. So here's an explanation of how the game works. There are two players, Alice and Bob. Alice is trying to win the game, and Bob is trying to not lose the game. Um, the two players start by Bob choosing the start position and Alice choosing a goal. And these are positions out of possibly 25 positions on the board. Then the game repeats making moves. The move is made in two steps. While Bob has not reached the goal state that Alice wants to drive him to, uh, Alice will choose among a set of options depending on the current position. And the sets that she can choose from are given as input. And then from this set of options, she, uh, Bob can choose one of those next positions and move to that position. And, mark, and uh, then the game continues from there. Uh, so the question of the, the problem is how long does it take for Alice to win this game? And we're also going to assume that both players play optimally. Okay. So here's an illustration of the first sample input on the, uh, of the problem. There are two positions, A and B. Uh, a has, uh, and there are three sets of options. From A, we can take the black arrows, uh, the red arrow, uh, one of the black arrows, the red arrow, or the blue arrow from B. Okay, let's go forward. So if Alice and, uh, if Bob starts at A and Alice is trying to get him to go to A, or similarly for B, then Alice wins in zero moves. Okay, next. But if Bob says, I'm going to start at A, and Alice says the goal is B, then uh, Alice can choose either uh, the pair of black arrows, in which case Bob would have A or B to choose from, or she could choose the red arrow. Uh, and if she chooses the red arrow, that will force Bob to move to B in his first move, and then he moves to B, and then Alice wins in one move. Okay, a little bit more complicated example, slightly more complicated is example two. There are three positions, and uh, let's move forward. So if, if uh, Bob's goal, or if Bob starts at C, and Alice's goal is to drive him to A, so starting from position C, Alice has two sets to choose from, black or red, and her optimal choice is to choose red which will force Bob to go to A or B. Bob is trying to avoid A, so he chooses B. And then from B, Alice can choose the set that forces him to go to A, which is the purple arrow. And then Bob must move to A, and then Alice wins in two moves. Okay? Now, it is possible that Alice can't win, such as if the goal is C. Well, there are no incoming edges from other positions, so uh, she cannot win if, she, if she, her goal is C. Let's move on. Um, so the strategy for this problem, uh, it may appear at first to be sort of a game tree where you have to explore a large section of the, of the possibilities, but it really is quite simple because you can solve this using breadth first search. Starting backwards, uh, start, uh, searching backwards, you can start uh, at the goal that Alice wants to drive towards, and then given all the currently reachable positions, find all the other positions that Alice can use to force Bob toward the goal and then repeat this, and you only have to repeat this up to 25 times for a given goal. Let's go forward. So the limits on this problem, as I said, are 25 positions, but there's a large number of possible edge sets, up to a million, and the time limit is eight seconds, which is actually quite high. Um, the runtime for the intended solution uh, is n squared p, which is this breadth first search times the number of edges, um, and we have to do breadth first search over all possible goals, which are the, there are n goals. Um, one thing that is slightly tricky about this problem is searching over the large number of the millions uh, or the million possible edge sets. But if we use bit masks and encode things as integers, then we can uh, search these edges much more quickly than if we use the strings that are given. Um, we've seen uh, 69 submissions on this problem, and last I checked, we had 26 out of 54 teams that had uh, tried it have solved it. And the biggest errors that they are getting are wrong answers. Th thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Follow the 2014 World Finals at icpcnews.com and be sure to check out my ICPC.